Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to be giving you a little information session today about the IIC Student Conference, uh, what it is, how I hope we can organize the 2023 conference here in Amsterdam, and how you can get involved. So first and foremost, what is the IIC? Uh, some of you may have heard of this organization. IIC stands for the International Institute for Conservation of Historic and Artistic Works. They've created a close-knit community with conservators from around the world, and they also have a journal called News and Conservation that comes out every other month. It's completely free, which is a fantastic resource. The IIC also organizes a biennial student conference. The student conference provides emerging conservators with a chance to meet future colleagues and discuss topics and issues within our field that are specific to us. The conference is always hosted by students at their university. In past years, it's been in, go to the next slide. In past years, it's been in Copenhagen, Cologne, Warsaw, and in 2021, it was hosted entirely online with a home base in Lisbon. Here you can see some of the themes that previous conferences have been based around. The theme dictates um, the type of panel discussions and the speakers invited to participate. Now you're probably wondering, what will this conference look like? Previous conferences have lasted between two and three days with an assortment of events, including Museum studio tours. This would likely include a tour of our beloved Atelier Habao, as well as guided tours of museums and other conservation studios in Amsterdam. Um, in the past, it's also included some arranged practical workshops, which could be interesting. Panel discussions, as I mentioned earlier, allow all of the participants to listen to the guest speakers and ask questions directed at the panel. And of course, social events. This could be anything from a group dinner to an arranged scavenger hunt or a pub quiz, which is a very popular activity among CNR students. So hosting a conference certainly sounds great, but what do we need to make it a reality? We need you, <laughs> the lovely CNR students. Together, I think that we can make a conference that we're proud of and we would want to attend ourselves. In order to do this, we need talented individuals such as yourselves, and there are a range of skill sets required to put a conference together. For example, fundraising and finances. Now, I know that this sounds like you're going to be looking at a lot of spreadsheets and doing math, and that's true, but fundraising is all about people skills, being able to communicate not only what you need, but also what you can provide to the person funding you. Not to mention that having fundraising experience is a pretty useful skill to have on your resume and reaching out to different companies will make you contacts in the industry that you wouldn't get any other way. Of course, the conference will also need a web page where attendees can access information about the event, such as the schedule and speaker lineup, but also where they can register and look up accommodations. I'm sure that there's somebody in CNR with a secret web designer skill. Um, at the very least, we have some great graphic designers among us. I mean, you're going to need to learn how to make a website for your career in a few years anyway, so why not get a head start now and put your skills to the test by making the conference website, which, by the way, will be linked through the IIC website for many years to come. If you go on their website right now, they still have active links to the old conference pages. Now, a conference can't happen without advertising, so we need someone to be in charge of getting the word out. Um, a lot of what advertising is, is writing copy. That's the text that you use to make captions on Instagram, generate tweets, write the script for a video, or a good old-fashioned advertisement in a newsletter. We also need someone to write up all of the blurbs about the different panels and activities in the event pamphlet. So if you enjoy writing, this would be the job for you. And of course, there's the task of arranging speakers and the actual event planning itself. This requires a friendly face, good people skills, but also organization and communication is paramount. If you book an event space, you need to communicate to that to the person writing the conference pamphlet and the financial officer. If you want there to be a logo for the conference, you're gonna to need to have a chat with the graphic designer. You'll be booking event spaces, caterers, double checking that registration runs smoothly, and most importantly, making sure that everyone is enjoying the conference. Now, I know I just listed a bunch of individual jobs, but here's the secret. None of us would actually be working alone. The organizing committee is a team, all working toward the same goal, and we're there to help each other. 
All of this work cannot be done by one individual, and that's why I'm reaching out to you with the hope that I can make you just as excited about this event as I am. If you have any further questions, you can reach me here. My Instagram is at LizHebertXCVI. My email is LizHebertXCVI at gmail.com. I hope you reach out. I hope that you're interested. I would love to have you on board the organizing committee. And I think that this would just be an amazing event to have the opportunity to put together. So please reach out. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing from you and making this conference a reality.